Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I pray you all are doing well. This is a very quick video, probably could be a little bit longer than expected because I am mandated by the Lord Jesus to do this video as soon as possible. It's like an emergency on this video. If I don't do this video, there will be a lot of people going to hell today. <laughs> and so he said, right now, right now, don't waste a moment. I want you to tell it right now. As of you know that I had been posting about Brother Isaiah Taldivore's ministry on my website. And I even I have asked a lot of people to check out his deliverance map and stuff. And I did tell you in a text message that I was not subscribing to him anymore because of something that I do not agree with. I, that doesn't mean that I don't love him. I absolutely love him as my younger brother. I'm not not hating him, but there's something that I do not agree with him. And I think it is going to lead millions to hell because he supported the abominable act. He said that oral sex in marriage, nowhere in the Bible that it's a sin. So if you are convicted and you have consent, you can go ahead and do it if you feel it's okay. It's almost like throwing things into the lap of the listener rather than saying, no, according to the Bible, it's wrong. I genuinely love this man. I'm praying for him, his wife. There's no anger or resentment towards him, but I really pray that he understands why it should not be done according to the scriptures. So what I'm going to talk to you about, probably this would be the most graphic video I have ever done. This is not my favorite topic. I really, really dislike this topic, but I do understand how much the Lord is hurting because we do not address this topic adequately in church. And I am going to talk to you about the scriptural description and explanation about why oral sex and other positions are wrong even in marriage other positions meaning the only permitted position is the traditional missionary position man on top woman on down facing each other me as a psychiatric nurse in the beginning i really didn't care you know i was like people do whatever they want to do in the bedrooms who cares this was a, a immature young christian in my 20s i really didn't care but the more i came into psychiatry and i saw the depravity of addictions i had patients who would master Masturbate more than 120 times at night. I used to do night shifts and I would hear masturbation nonstop. In the beginning, I would laugh and giggle because we were young, unmarried, you know, and we would be like, he's crazy. He really has a problem. And to the point when the patients came in the morning and they showed us their hands, the hands are full of blood. And when you ask them what happened, they say the guilt is tormenting them and they had to wash their hands more than 200 times to remove the content on their hands. So it it really broke my heart after I started physically seeing the mental depravity of sexual addiction. So I don't take this topic lightly. I do want to give certain disclaimers. This strict viewer's discretion is advised. I mean strict. This is extremely graphic. I'm talking for only married people or betrothed people, people who are going to get married soon. You can listen to it. Others, please use discretion. If you're single and if you're fighting temptations, addictions, I would suggest not to listen to it. I'm going to talk about body parts. I'm going to talk about body fluids. I'm going to talk about positions. I'm going to talk about sexual temptations. I'm going to talk about all the abominable activities that Christians commit in their bedrooms and they think it is absolutely okay for a holy eternal God to watch them doing this because it is their body and they can do what it's okay so children stay away please stay away this is not for you singles you can stay away as well unless you are going to get married or you just want to listen i pray that you will not fall into temptations of any kind i also advise my married older couples people of my mother's age before i'm recording this i called my mother and said you don't have to listen to the next video i'm doing it's extremely graphic and she's a widow i said not that she'll fall into temptation but she doesn't even have to listen because she she's a saint for me and my older mothers and fathers who are listening you all are saints for me you all are our ideals you don't have to listen to this garbage papa mommy just stay away pray for us we younger generation so that we can walk in the righteous path you all are our ideals you if you have never had an addiction or if you don't know what is happening in this wild unhealthy demonic world how sex is 
twisted into something abominable dear dad dear mom stay away you don't even have to listen to this what i'm going to say i had a brother who recently said if i cannot have oral sex i might as well be dead so these are the kind of people who come into my channel and who are telling me i'd rather die than than not to have oral sex so people like you if you think you cannot live without oral sex and cannot live without abominable perverse activity in the bed you need to listen i don't care if you're single or married you need to listen but if you are not in any kind of addictions please stay away let me quickly pray before i go into the depth because i want this to be from the holy spirit the holy spirit is going to tell you people get mad especially the disobedient and lustful ones when we talk about sex they say this is our personal thing why are you bringing your convictions and your opinions nobody asked for you you anyway are asians and you don't do things like we do i'm telling you true stories but if you have even 0.001 percentage in your heart that you feel maybe she has something to tell me from the scripture why a holy god does not allow his children to participate in this abominable act then you need to listen my brother my sister the lord jesus christ of nazareth will take control of this video and may he speak to your heart before i go into the video i would like to say a simple prayer to seal my video in the holy blood of the paschal lamb who was sacrificed on calvary for us loving heavenly father lord abba we come into your presence with all my brothers and sisters around the world father god we are broken we need you father god we do not know the right path we need you we are blind lambs we are stinky blind lambs full of sin father you are our good shepherd show us the right way to walk do not let temptations and sin lead us into the right or left show us the small narrow path you are walking about and help us to walk this narrow path i pray for every brother and sister who has a confusion in their mind or oh, the attack of the enemy in their mind where they are conflicted thinking this perverseness is okay in the eyes of a living god father i speak i speak life into their lives i ask the blessed holy spirit to open their eyes and see see the water and the oil separated they are two different components and cannot be mixed in the spiritual realm father god let your holy spirit surround this video as i'm doing it right now may your holy angels take their positions father god break every yoke of addiction break every yoke of satanism break every yoke of occultism break every yoke of temptation marine spirits in my brothers and sisters life and as we speak to you as we are going to lord father go into deeper realms father god seal my words in the blood of jesus may it be all from you all of you all of your heart none of me and all of you lord jesus in the precious blood of the lord jesus i ask amen Dear brothers and sisters before I even start on sexual addictions and sexual deviant behaviors let me tell you one thing sex is only permitted in marriage between a human man and a human woman who come together in front of the Lord as a covenant relationship and that is the first basic principle even in your intimate moments the holy spirit does not check out he still is in you when you are actually having sex the lord jesus and his spirit in you because you are the temple of the living god the holy scripture says holy spirit does not check out he does not go and come back in after you are done he is always in you if you are a body carrying the temple of the lord you need to be aware 24/7 that you are carrying the living god in you even in your most intimate time with your spouse the holy spirit is in you that's number 1 the next is holy angels are around you your guardian angels and your protective angels your link angels all of these different levels of angels that the holy spirit that the lord sends they don't disappear and vanish they all are around you they all are still watching you they are not going to take off their eyes from you 
Next thing, the demons also are around you. They are waiting and watching for legal portals of accusations to see what object of their kingdom you are going to bring in this activity. What portals you are going to open of their kingdom. So they have a legal right against you and your body and your spouse and your relationship and your marriage. I believe a Satanist brother who comes from the spirit of darkness who converted to the kingdom of light. He very clearly explains for every Christian, there are four demons, at least four demons watching. him, And that is based upon the testimony of this ex-Satanist brother who said, and we generally know that there are demons watching. They're monitoring spirits watching. They're witches and warlocks locally, nationally, internationally that are waiting to see who falls in the sexual bait to sacrifice you and to offer your blood to their king lucifer they are not coming to come with a knife and cut your throat but they will make sure that you die in an accident or in some sort of disease or some sort of attack that looks very normal to the human realm but actually it was a sacrifice to baphomet according to romans 14 verses 10 to 12 and the second corinthians chapter 5 verses 10 tells that every Christian who makes it to heaven will have to one day stand in front of the Bema throne of Yeshua, the righteous judge and the righteous king, and explain his or her actions in front of the Most High God, his holy angels, the saints of the old, and millions of other fellow Christians. Any sexual immorality is idolatry. Sex becomes your idol. People get mad when we talk about sex, but you have an idol and that is the truth. Sex with yourself is also a sin. I am going to attach certain videos of a man of God called Pastor Olukbenga Olafe Joe. I hope I have pronounced his name correctly. Please, please forgive me if I have mispronounced his name. He has gone into great lengths to explain why the missionary sex position is only the right position and why oral sex is a sin according to the Holy Bible. The Lord said that his people have misunderstood the book of Song of Solomon, which depicts the love of Jesus Christ for his holy bride and that Satan has fooled millions of Christians to believe that God is in favor of abomination and act invented and practiced by demons and witchcraft. I will explain the Song of Solomon in detail towards the end of this video. Please stay with me. I'm not going to repeat from the videos of Pastor Olafejo where he's explaining in great lines. I request you all to listen to his videos. I'll have links. One thing that the Holy Spirit is reiterating from his testimony that uh, Pastor Olafejo is saying again and again is from the book of Genesis all throughout the New Testament. You can see the word the husband lay with his wife. Uh, Adam lay with his wife. Isaac lay with his wife. Jacob lay with his wife. David lay Play with his wife the act of lying down or sleeping in the marriage bed it comes from the hebrew lexicon shakab that is hebrew lexicon is 7901 to lie down on the marriage bed to lie down on the marriage bed to lie down on the marriage bed not on the kitchen table not on the steps not in the pool not in the closet not in the car not in the beach not anywhere else but the marriage bed and that is according to the scripture the lord has very clearly said keep the marriage bed what holy the marriage what the bed holy the marriage bed holy and the position is very clear, lying down, lying down all throughout scriptures. The act is, the place is the bed and the position is lying down. Not demonic positions like doggy or a cow or a horse, snake or chimpanzee or whatever jungle thing or whatever lustful animalistic positions you think is okay and you think is giving you pleasure is fine. That is not what the Holy Bible says. Please do not fall for the consent and conviction garbage, like I said before, propagated by especially the Western churches. This is not about getting consent from your spouse or conviction of moral issues of your spouse, but from a biblical perspective. If the wife says it's okay, it must be okay. If the husband says it's wrong, then it must be wrong. That is 
is not how we Christians follow, but we follow the Holy Bible. Jesus Christ is our captain and our judge and our king. When he sits on the throne, he will ask you, not your husband, not your mama, not your papa, not your spiritual father, nobody but you. Why didn't you read my word and ask the blessed Holy Spirit for spiritual guidance if you did not know? You and I are equally responsible for asking the blessed Holy Spirit what is right and what is wrong before we even go and Google it. We need to kneel down and ask him for guidance. Hundreds and hundreds of testimonies of pastors, deacons, first ladies, prophetess, church going Christians are in hell for desecrating the Lord's temple. The Lord's temple is you. If he says in the scripture, I don't need a mortar and a brick a temple anymore, but I'm going to live in my children's body. How much more holy should we keep our bodies? Precious brothers, regretting in hell all eternity after hearing this will be a little bit too late. May the Holy Spirit talk to you. We do not have time. We are at the doorstep of the revelation of the Antichrist and the rapture of the bride. We do not have time to satisfy ourselves in fleshly desires. To satisfy ourselves by eating and drinking and merrymaking and having sex and enjoying. This should be the time that the bride is consecrating herself in prayer, in fasting, sacrificing every worldly attachment, delineating us by worldly attachments and consecrating us to the kingdom of God. Your spouse is a blessing. That does not mean that you do not honor him, but you have to do it within the boundaries of scriptural perspective. You cannot use it the way you like it. And we know that there will be still so-called Christians who will oppose this and they are mad because we are talking about a very sensitive topic that they find they can do in the four walls of their bedroom and nobody's watching and they can wear their cute tuxedos on Sunday morning and come and sing glory to the Lord when they're making their wife do abominable activities. I know you are hurt. I know you are hurt. But I pray if you are a human being and you want to reach heaven and you would really think, is this sister saying anything right? I pray that the Lord opens your eyes to the truth truth and that you can lose your eternal soul because of foolishness, because of rebellion, because of ignorance and because of pure hatred for your brethren.